Now let's go to another one. What is an EMP attack? EMP stands for electromagnetic pulse. And uh, this is not something new to the war of, on terrorism and their capability, or at least they're trying to get the capability of launching a, an EMP attack. We found out after the fall of the Soviet Union from uh, the things that were passed on to us that uh, during the Cold War, that they thought of launching between a one megaton and a 10 megaton a nuclear warhead that would be exploded high over the middle of the United States and create an electronic magnetic pulse, which would knock out virtually every unshielded uh, electrical device that uh, is sensitive to those things. They're very sensitive to it. Of course, back in those times, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and and even the 80s, we were not nearly as vulnerable to such an attack as we are now. Uh, to put it this way, it doesn't take that big of a nuclear warhead anymore to do uh, damage to the whole United States because uh, the, the uh, power of an EMP attack is not just based on how big the nuclear explosion is but it's also linked to altitude at which it's exploded. If a uh, nuclear warhead about twice the size of the Hiroshima atomic bomb were exploded 180 miles over the center of the United States, it would knock out 70% of unshielded electronic devices, especially the ones that depend on delicate little chips that make virtually all of our things go today. For instance, our fuel consumption in the car is regulated by a magnetic chip uh, or a microchip. Uh, computers control uh, everything from our dams to our electrical grids and things of that nature. Those would be knocked out. As a matter of fact, 70% of uh, every electronic device in the United States would be totally wiped out. It would bring uh, such a chaos in the United States overnight that nothing would be working. You couldn't get gasoline because it takes an electronic pump to pump it. You would not be able to get electricity because all the grids are out. People who live in high-rise apartments would be stuck to going up and down stairs. Our buildings now are built without even windows in them, so in the heat you would virtually die in there. Those are just a few of the things that would be caused by that. But here's something even worse. If you take the same nuclear bomb, about twice the size of a Hiroshima bomb, and you explode it 300 miles altitude over the center of the United States, it would wipe out 100% of all of our electrical grids and chips throughout the United States, plus a good deal of Canada and a great deal of Mexico. So uh, this is not a thing to take lightly, and certainly there are people in our security departments that stay up nights worrying about it. What happens is there is this nuclear explosion which sends out a uh, massive overwave of uh, electronic pulse power, uh, radio wave type power. It travels at about 90% the speed of sound. And just in a flash, it will uh, wipe out uh, our electrical grids, it'll wipe out our cars, it'll wipe out airplanes, will, uh, if they're not properly uh, prepared for this, if they're not shielded properly against it, they would immediately lose control and power and so forth. So it's a nightmare to even think about. So EMP, yeah, it's a danger. And the greatest danger is that uh, some, some rogue power like North Korea or Iran can take uh, 
a nuclear bomb with a crude missile that can get uh, a bomb up to the altitude of uh, 180 to 300 miles up over the United States. They could take this and they could take it on a tramp freighter and uh, off the coast of the United States, 100 miles or so, they could fire this up over the center of the United States and it would reach that altitude and that position in a matter of minutes and explode that and we would be back in the 1800s technically and this country would probably never recover.